Hey everybody, Bob the Vapor Computer Guy. Today we're taking a look at a cool looking RDA squonker. Uh, this is the Ghoul by Blitz Enterprises. So I got the Ghoul here. The Ghoul is on my uh, Fuchai 213 squonker. I've been mainly squonking with this thing. Um, as you can see, it's not perfectly uh, you know, parallel on both sides, it's uh, kind of curved there, kind of, hopefully you can see that, you'll see it in the up close even better. Um, I've really been liking this thing, it is a single coil RDA, um, let's just dive down right to the table, I'll tell you what I think about it afterwards. Alright, so today we're taking a look at the Ghoul RDA, I just cleaned it off, so I apologize if there's any water on there or any cotton left. I've uh, been vaping on this thing. We did. I didn't unbox it. I just uh, popped it on since I got it because I really liked it. So you can see here you got that little ghoul, uh, you know, kind of logo on there. You got this nice, uh, like, kind of snakeskin red drip tip uh, that comes with the uh, silver one or the stainless one. Right. Protruding 510. All right. You get the name on the bottom. Ghoul RDA. They're marked. This is 3184. Designed by Blitz. Blitz Enterprises. All right. Let me just throw this on something to pop it open. And we'll take a look inside. Now, first of all, you can see you got two airflow holes, one on each side. All right. Actually, let's dive down a little bit here. Look at it this way, a little easier. Then we'll look what's in the box. So, single coil, ceramic. All right. You got airflow here, which is obvious. That's going to go right to the front of your coil. Then you got airflow here that when this is on, you can see there's like a little bit of a gap in there. So when this side is on here, the air is going to go in through that center and then go to the sides and in and come in in those holes in the back inside there. Okay, tweezers here. You can see in the back there those holes there and they're going to come in underneath and go straight up which is really nice and then this is going to come in and go at an angle up so you really got nice airflow going on to the coils there all right you got a ceramic clamp on top and this is where we would open this up if it'll open on me all right and you get this little little key here it says blitz on it instead of a screwdriver and you can pop this in here and loosen the screw for the ceramic uh, clamp. All right. Take out the coil. As you can see, you can easily take your single coil, insert it underneath that clamp, and clamp it down. It's separated in the center here between positive and negative. There's a little separator over here, and that makes one side positive, one side negative. All right. You can see this is positive because it's going to your positive post in the center, negative on the outside. And uh, really nice, real simple. I mean, you know, all you have to do is put your coil in there where you want it, clamp that down, screw it down, and your coil is in. Nice and simple, really, really easy to work on. Um, then you can position your coil as high or as low as you want it. Once it's in there, you can bend. Let's throw it back in. You can see here. Now you do, you can remove this completely, and you do get extra of the of the ceramic clamp, which is nice. Let's go ahead and throw that in here. And I'm not going to bother to make sure it's absolutely perfect this time. Let's see which way. This way, I think, is the way I had it before. Just for the purposes of showing you what I'm talking about. Put this in here. Clamp it down. All right. So once that's in there, um, you can take your tool... Find one that's the right size. You can insert that into your coil, and it's very easy to manipulate your coil. You can bring your coil up high. You can bring your coil down low. You can put it wherever you want it. So it's real simple. You got plenty of room. You got a real big juice well in there, all right? You can see you got all of that for your juice well. Um, leaking. Really not going to have any leaking with this unless you really over squonk. If you pack that full of cotton, and then when you squonk through that center hole. You have so much cotton that's going to come up into this side that the cotton's packed against this, then you could leak. But uh, I haven't had any problems with it. We'll talk more about that when we get on top. But I haven't had any problems at all. And like I said, your airflow goes in here, goes in the sides, and comes in under the coil. Real simple, real nice, double O-rings, really stays on well. All right, pop that on there, and pop it on the mod. 
Also, you can see here it's not parallel on both sides. It's kind of curved, all right, which is kind of nice. Airflow is got it pretty tight on here because I just cleaned it off so the O-rings are getting dry again. But uh, really nice there. You can close that off. Of course, what you do on one is going to affect the other. You got your standard uh, 810 drip tip on there. And I really just like the looks of it. Um, you also get the frosted drip tip, which I like that red one. It goes good with the fuchai. But you got the red, this one as well, which is just kind of like a, a little bit wider kind of, uh, like I said, frosted on there. It's a little bit of texture. It doesn't have tremendous, it's not going to have a lot of bumps. It just has it's just a little bit of texture on there. Right, so it's nice. Uh, in the box, you're going to get, I opened up at a little baggie, you're going to get your 510 adapter. All right, so you can use your 510 drip tips. You're going to get another ceramic clamp. All right, one of this. You're going to get another, um, you're going to get your positive pin in case you want to take out the squonking, and it did come with the positive pin already in. I put the squonking pin in. All right, and that uses the same, the same key that you use on top fits on the bottom all right so you can use that to take your pin in and out and then you're getting an extra uh, screw for that top there to hold down the ceramic so you get an extra screw with that you got a positive pin you got all your arranger 510 adapter and that was mine so there you go uh, let's give you a little bit of specs on it it's a 22 millimeter diameter uh, single post build deck as they're calling it ceramic clamp style terminals uh, which are four millimeters by two millimeters uh, each you got pink in, uh, peak insulator, nine millimeter juice well, really nice big juice well. Um, two air slots, one on each side, which are three millimeters by two millimeters. Um, yeah, that's it. Standard 810 drip tips. You can you get the 510 adapter, and uh, it's just really nice. Let's go ahead and go back up on top and uh, tell you what it's been like vaping on this thing. All right, so this is the Ghoul RDA single coil. It uh, comes with that drip tip. I'll put a picture up there. I think there's a black one that comes with a different color drip tip. Um, but I've really been liking this. I'm going to take a vape on it. I'm vaping it. I got a 0.28 ohm coil in there. Vaping at 90 watts on the Fuchai 213 Squonker. I've been really enjoying this. Um, the steel on here is really nice and solid and thick and heavy. Um, I have no cons with this thing, all right? No problems whatsoever. It's been working great. Only thing I'd mention, got some juice on here, let's clean that up. Only thing I'd mention is, unlike a lot of RDAs lately, it's not a really big wide open airflow. I'm enjoying this, the airflow completely open, and it's really perfect. Um, it's not a crazy amount of airflow, perfectly acceptable for an RDA, but with so many RDAs coming out today where you feel like you could just breathe right through them normally, um, it's a little bit less than that, but it's not noisy. It works good. Uh, the drip tip is nice. It does not get hot at all. It really handles that well. Only once when squonking uh, did I over squonk so much that it came out the holes, but normally you can easily squonk quite a bit on there uh, and no problems. It's not coming out those holes. Good juice well. Uh, the design for the airflow holes is nice. Um, the drip tip is even a nice, very thick drip tip that it comes with. Um, everything about this is good. It looks nice. It's clean. You got the little logo on there, um, but it's just a clean, solid, reliable, single coil RDA. Vaping great. Flavor on it's really good. Um, it's nice. No cons. If you're looking for a single coil RDA, uh, this is definitely one to consider. Um, I like it. I, you know, when there's, there's not a whole lot more to say about it when you like it, everything about it. I like the material. Uh, I like the way it's made. I like the size. I like the shape. A little bit something different that's a, a little bit curved I like that. Makes it a little different. Let me throw it on a couple of mechs just to show you what it looks like on there. Although I don't vape mechs too often. So this is it on that um, Wizmec RX Mechina. Machina, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, not a perfect size fit there, but I don't even care. I think it looks just just great on there. Uh, it's just a nice look on it. You know, I think it fits well, even though it's not perfectly the same size um, as this mech. I just think it works well on it. I'll show you one other. Here it is on. Uh, this is called a Buffalo mech, and uh, just really fits good. You know, just looks nice, fits good on there. Uh, just a nice looking overall device. You can change out the drip tip if you don't like the red with it. But on a nice shiny mech there, 
uh, a little bit of copper in there, but nice and shiny, just looks really good, fits perfectly on here, and uh, really nice. So there you go, that's the Ghoul RDA by Blitz Enterprises. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's definitely a winner. Um, click that like button, click that share, click that thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, comment below and any questions or uh, if you have it, what you think about it. And um, that's it. I'll see you soon. Uh, if you're in the New England or northeast of the United States, uh, this Saturday, Friday and Saturday is the Foxwoods National Vape Expo Convention. Uh, a lot of reviewers going to be there. I'm going to be there on Saturday, probably all from the afternoon, probably from like 12 o'clock on. Uh, so stop by if you're there, say hello, and uh, hope to see you there. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.